Hi guys, uh, I'm Noah Centineo. I'm here at BuzzFeed. Uh, I'm gonna be telling you about my first experiences. Some of your more recent projects have had a lot to do, like they've had really cool social issues mm -hmm. being like talked out. You know, you did the Fosters, which you guys- You're gonna freak out. We're right here. <laughs> Breathe, my guy. Breathe, please. Hey, well, I'm just gonna dive right in. First cell phone. Uh, okay, so my parents were never on board with the idea of us having like cell phones. Uh, you guys were the king of taking on the hard issues. Raising awareness for social yeah. injustices. Yeah, tagged. And then now these two new movies. Is mm -hmm. that something that... Oh, come here. Look, this house is full of animals. This is another puppy that we have. This is the baby. Um, but I was lucky because when I was 11, I went to a performing arts school that was really far away from where we lived, so I not really far. That attracts you to those projects, or? Honestly, at this point, it's serendipitous. I'm just very fortunate to be involved with projects that have... Not cute. He's your baby. He's how old? Eight months? Ten. Ten months. Just look at him. He's got his everything figured out. But far enough away that I had to take the train to school, public transit. So they bought me a Verizon chocolate. You can slide it up and you can... Meaning outside of just entertaining people. You say, and uh, to all the boys I've loved before, that your character is cuter. It's the baby. Hi, you're so cute. Did you, oh, you your boy think, oh, oh God, what's happening? Text, you slide it back down and then it had a little touch tones on it. It's fantastic. First cell phone. First aim account name. Better than Jake Ryan. And obviously these two movies are about to blow up and you're obviously gonna kind of be the Jake Ryan of our generation. I like the baby. How you guys doing? Hey, I hope you guys are happy. I hope everything's going well. Okay. Ah! Oh God, what was my first day in the account name? Um. Are you ready for that? And do you feel like there's a lot of pressure with social media to like appease fans? I, I, I don't really know. Is it, what day is it love? It's Friday. It's, it's Friday? Yeah. Yo, you guys should be like excited. It's the weekend. It's no, no GC at AOL.com. I used to love that. That's where I used to get all my music from. The top, the top. Yeah, I mean, honestly, like, uh, they, I don't really feel a lot of pressure. You know, I just want to keep doing work, and then hopefully if, if I do increase in... Friday is happening. What? There's almost, people are almost out of school. Almost. That's honestly. This is David Bowie. Top ten, top five. I remember Ponda Replay was on that, and like One Two Step, and they put the videos up, and we were like, oh, it was so cool. Platform, I, I'd like to use that to some benefit. I love it. Is there any particular causes that you're really passionate about right now? I currently work with Reddit. <laughs> yep. I think Hillary Duff was on that all the time as well. Best first date. So this was when I lived at the W. The W. I uh, Incorporated. They they run the Watts Empowerment Center down in Watts, California, um, and we're I'm working with them. I tell you, you got to go to the mama now. I tell the dad to go to the mama now. Okay, I go to the mama. The hotel residence side has a really cool rooftop, sweet pool, big W. She, she'd come over. Hopefully, figure out who he is along the way. Uh, it's it's a great, it's a cool film. And Laura Morano's in that, and, and Broccoli City Music Group. They do a Broccoli City Music Festival. Uh, it helps build urban communities. It's in D.C. Uh, all right, y'all. Hey, like Lo said, it's Friday, so you guys better be having fun. You better be smiling. And if you're not, uh, you know, late afternoon, sometime close to sunset, or just before. And I said, bring a book. And we traded. I gave him. Um. Like you started off like amazing, and he started off so bad. But then, um, currently, like those are my, my my two focuses. But I'd like to branch out. Peter and Jamie are kind. They're not super similar. It's okay. You should cry because if you feel bad, you want to cry. Totally cry because then it makes room for happier emotions to come through one day. Uh, Cam uh, Cami Mendez is in that. Young boy Odysseus uh, out from New York. He's a great musician too. He plays my best friend. Her uh, Celestine Prophecy, and she gave me "You Are the One" by Coop Flaxon, and we read. As the time it went like. What? 
Bullshit. Characters, they have their differences. Yeah. Who do you feel like you relate more to? Uh, I'd say I relate more to Jamie, you know. Um, uh, it's true. What you avoid controls you. And uh, don't let... I'm going to turn this light off. Yeah, you know... For like three hours. I love being sentimental and remembering things. It's like, it, I literally am a sentimentalist and that's all I And how I am internally, but sometimes I'm just like Peter. So it's just, it's on the day, you know? I feel it. Um, and then with Sierra Burgess, it's- but, See, look at that. I'm so ugly now without the light. Like, it's so bad. And then if you want, you can hit the natural light, come to the window and you're like, I do, so this is fantastic. First pet, oh, I think it was a rabbit named Princess. Yeah. It's an adaptation of Santa de Bergerac. Um, what do you want audiences to take from that movie? Oh, hey, no, it doesn't even look good. I, I really can't win here, guys. Um, and then we got a dog, and the dog ate the rabbit. <laughs> and that was the end of the first pet. It was also the first death I had ever really. You know, for me, the, the, the message is loud and clear. Do not let society define what beauty is. Do not let society define love or what that looks like. Do I know you? You look a lot like my next girlfriend. Ah! We are gonna play. The experience was the first <laughs> This is morbid. We're out. It's like, um, beyond that, do not let society or culture define your interests, your likes, your dislikes, be independent, look at the world. A very exciting game today for me. It's called the charm battle. Mm. Ooh, okay, okay. Yeah. Your last one. First time realizing you were famous. I was 15 years old. I had just moved to Los Angeles. I was at the end. Experience the world and then make your own decisions based upon that, you know? Um, yeah, that's, that's really what I want people to take home. Can I take a picture of you so that Santa knows what I want for Christmas? Okay, you get 100 points. Oh! Yeah, like MC movie theater in Century City with my mom. We were walking through the lobby and these girls came up to me and they said- I love it. And to all the boys I loved before, it is about like you and Laura Jean, but it's also kind of about the love of sisterhood. You have siblings, what are some- <laughs> Kiss me if I'm wrong, but dinosaurs still exist, right? What? Zero and, points. Um, zero points, I'm still zero. Do, do I? Do I know you? Dead. Are you Dallas from Austin and Alley? Do you play the cell phone accessory card guy? And I was like, some of the best advice that you've gotten from them. You know, just my sister. You look a lot like my next girlfriend. Yes, another hundred. Hey, is your name Wi-Fi? I'm, I'm really feeling it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And they're like, can we have a picture with you? And I was like, yeah, of course. Like, sure, thank you. And really just her presence and just being there. Um, she's always there with a smile and like, she I'll give you 200 points to tie it up. No, 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 I'll take 100. I'll take 100. <laughs> I totally just lost my phone number. Can I have yours? We took pictures and my mom was kind of just standing there and beaming and like that was, I was like, dang. Dang. She's real with me. Like, if I mess up, she tells me. You know, she still loves me. So, so I guess the best advice is not necessarily advice from her, but just... Damn. Hey, 100. No, oh, 250. Shit, sorry. Sorry. Hey, tie your shoes. I don't want you falling for anybody else. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. 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 Dope. And do you have any upcoming projects uh, that you can promote besides? That was great. 500. I like that. 300. 600. 500. Um, please do it. We're here at BuzzFeed. That's all my time with you. I love you guys so much. Thank you for tuning in. I hope to be back here and see you guys very soon. You know, these two awesome Sierra movies. Sierra Tom. Yeah, I, I finished a film called The Stand-In recently with the same production company that does to all the boys. Uh, that's about it. Hey, are you a cat? Cause I'm like feline, the connection between us. I'll give you like five points. Okay. Doses! <laughs> a, a young man who's enterprising and he comes from a low income household and one day he decides to build an app that allows anyone to- Can you give me my number? Yeah. Oh, that's, that's good. Yeah.
That's all I want. Whoa, subtle. Six hundred. To, to hire him as a stand-in date, and he does this, creating this app, hoping that he makes enough money to get into his dream school, and then. Bullshit. Yeah. Well, well played. Well played. Well played. I felt most comfortable listening to it from Noah. More from that. I'm excited to see you. Well, thank you so much for sitting down with me. Of course, thank you. Thank